Hey everybody, and welcome back to another video. If you don't know who I am, my name is Joey, and I'm a friend of Gavin's, and you may have seen me in some of his past videos. In this video, we're gonna go over my RTX 3070 from Gigabyte, run it through some tests, and compare it to Gavin's Founders 3070. Just like everyone around the world, I've been trying really hard to get my hands on one of these. I was able to snatch one from Best Buy for $579.99 before taxes back in December. Their RTX ordering system is great, and their contactless curbside pickup was quick and easy. One of the main features that really stick out about this card is the white aesthetic. Over the past year since I built my PC, the idea of white has been growing on me. I recently also got the Virtuoso wireless headset from Corsair and the Razer ProType wireless keyboard. I'm also planning on getting a white water cooler, probably from Corsair, and the Vision B550 motherboard. But back to the graphics card, right out of the box, you will find a quick start guide and the graphics card itself. So just to let you guys know before we get into the actual comparison, again, I've put timestamps below in the play bar and in the description below if you want to skip to a specific part in the video. So let's say you want to see something like the benchmarks, the looks, or even the thermals and the sound, you can skip there right now if you've already seen the rest of it. You will first notice the brushed aluminum front and a very cool futuristic looking aluminum backplate. The card has three fans, two HDMI ports, two display ports, and a six and eight pin power port. The logo on the front side is the RGB and this will be the only RGB that you'll find on the card. And the only physical downside to the card, which I don't really like, is the purple trim on the front side around the RGB. It doesn't really match anything, in my build especially, and I would rather have it black if it were to be changed in the future. So the first major difference from the Vision that the Founder Edition has is the power supply. So as you saw if you watched my previous video, it uses the 12 pin adapter which is the new NVIDIA power connection style and it looks pretty ugly if you use the default cable, but if you watched my previous video you can see my 12 pin adapter a white sleeved extension that makes it look a lot nicer, but with the Vision you're getting that standard 8 plus 6 pin power connectors. Keep in mind that the Founders Edition is quite a bit cheaper than the Vision, and so spending extra money on cables and stuff like that isn't a big deal when you're doing an overall comparison. The next minor difference between the two is that the Founders Edition only has three display ports and one HDMI versus the two HDMI and two display ports on the Vision. And then of course the aesthetics are totally up to you guys at which one you like better, but you can tell it's completely different. The Vision is all white, has some a little bit of RGB illumination there, and the Founders has absolutely zero lighting and it's just pure metal and exposed heatsink. Now, in my opinion, both of these cars look better vertically mounted, but the Founders Edition specifically looks a lot better vertically mounted, because as you've watched my previous video, you would see that the back plate looks terrible in my opinion, and if you have it horizontally mounted, I think it looks a lot worse than the Vision. Just like Gavin reference, we'll be using the Fantex vertical mount adapter, which allows the better looking side of the card, in my opinion, to be shown off. In the past, I had a compatibility issue with my case, which included unremovable bars next to the PCIe slots. My case does come with a vertical mount option, but it really isn't ideal with cards like mine, as it doesn't receive enough airflow to perform well. I eventually just used a Dremel to remove the bars, and I installed the vertical mount bracket to where we are today. So other than the obvious cooler design, which we'll be analyzing once we actually do the benchmarks, the only main performance difference between the two cards is their boost clock, which is what the cooler allows for, which is a 1.73 GHz boost clock on the Founders Edition, and a 1.81 GHz boost clock on the Vision. Now keep in mind, those are the official boost clock claims. Keyword claims. So when we actually do the tests, I'm gonna, we'll try to push it as hard as we can and see what we can get on both cards. Our test bench today is going to have a Ryzen 7 3700X CPU from AMD, which is being cooled by the ML240R liquid cooler from Cooler Master. We're going to have a ROG Strix B450F gaming motherboard from ASUS, 32GB of 3000MHz G-Skill Trident RAM, which is all going to be powered by the Cooler Master 650W power supply. The Cooler Master TD500 mesh case has three intake fans and one exhaust fan, meaning that we won't have any problems with airflow. Our tests today are going to be inside of a closed case under room temperature, and we're going to run them under 3D Mark, Heaven, and some other games that me and Gavin enjoy. And with the comparison out of the way, let's put them in the system and do some benchmarks.
So there are the benchmarks, and of course, the Ampered powered 3070s performed very well at 1440p, but the difference between the two cards was very little on average. As seen in the last slide shown, the Founders Edition was about 1-2% behind the Vision and overclocked slightly lower as well. With the MSRP price difference being $80 and the current pricing being a $120 difference, the Founders Edition offers substantially more value in the performance category. But of course, there are more factors than just the Vision's price. There's thermals, noise, and of course looks, which is always subjective. But of course, in just the raw performance per dollar category, the Founders Edition is much better value and the Vision is not worth the extra price. Just like performance, noise is another big factor when buying and using a GPU. Just so you guys can hear it for yourself, here's some audio clips of each card after heat soaking in heaven while overclocked. After these tests, we find that the Vision is the quieter of the two cards with more fans to spin at a lower RPM. In terms of thermals, the Vision had a 72 degree max when stock and a 75 degree max when overclocked, all in Celsius, while the Founders had a 75 degree and a 78 degree max. While the Vision did win in the temperature department as well, the Founders was within 3 degrees Celsius, with one less fan and a more efficient NVIDIA pass-through and blower cooler. Alright guys, so with all the tests done, here's my verdict on the two cards. So when we compare these two cards, there's three main categories. We've got styling, performance per dollar value, and the thermals and noise level. So of course, the styling is extremely subjective. Um, I obviously picked what I picked, and my friend Joey picked what he picked. Um, it's up to you if it matches your build better. Uh, either one will match a different build. I think they're both one of the better looking 3070s out there, minus the Strix and the MSI one as well, but a lot of the other ones I don't really like this generation. I like the Vision and I like this one. But the next category I think goes to the 3070 Founders Edition, um, it's performance per dollar. So with that very small difference in performance, it's not clearly not worth the $80 if you're just looking for the performance. If you're looking for more performance, you should probably step up to a 3080 Founders. And with the final category of thermals and noise, the Vision is going to win this one with more fans to spin at a lower RPM. It's, it's going to be the better card for noise. Uh, the Founders does keep up pretty well with thermals. Well, it is a little bit louder, it does keep up. So, But overall, the Vision takes this category. So of course, in terms of comparing these cards, it's going to come down to a tie because the visuals are subjective. So the Vision wins the Thermals and Noise, and the Founders Edition wins the Performance Per Dollar category. So that means it's going to come down to the looks. If you want more of a white, bigger, normal looking card with three fans, obviously you're going to want to go with the Vision. And if you want more of a clean, no RGB, just sort of clean, nice look, uh, Founders is going to be for you. Additionally, if you're looking for a small form factor build, the Founders Edition is going to be a lot better for that, obviously, because it's thinner, it's smaller in every single dimension. The only other thing you have to really consider is that if you don't want to pay for a different cable because the standard 12 pin adapter is pretty ugly, um, you have to take that into consideration with the Founders Edition because the Vision just uses normal cables that you probably already have. Now of course I bought the cables and it's still under the price of the Vision so I still justified that. But if you're not going to do that, then that could be one way to swing you towards the Vision. And with that, that's the end of our comparison today between the Vision and the Founders Edition. Hope it guys helped you make your decision on picking what 3070 would fit you. If you've got any questions for me or want me to do any other videos, leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to take a look. Also, recently I signed up for the Amazon Associates program, so if you're going to buy either the vertical mount or the cable, obviously the graphics card I'm not going to link to Amazon because you can't get it anywhere, but if you're going to buy either of those accessories, if you use my link down below, it's not going to cost you any more money and it'll give me a little bit of kickback and I would appreciate it. Also, my Oculus Quest 2 video that I mentioned in my last video is going to be coming up. Um, I finally got all the accessories, the last one came in the mail, and so I'm ready to make a video on all my accessories and my experience with the Quest 2. And with that, the video's over. Thank you guys so much for watching. Gav321 out. Bye.